On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to change out this non-grounding type receptacle with a ground type receptacle that meets NEC code, so stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Just a quick disclaimer, we are gonna be working with electrical components today. The electrical code in my area may be different from the electrical code in your area, so make sure that you're always in current up to date with your electrical codes and you have the proper permits. Electricity is very, very dangerous. Make sure that you turn off the power from your circuit breaker. And if you're unsure and unconfident, hire a certified qualified electrician. With that being said, my full disclaimer is on the description down below. Let's get to the video. With this type of work, we are gonna be referencing the NEC Codebook 2020 edition. I'm gonna be flipping onto the paragraph where it states that where we can change this two-prong receptacle with no ground to a grounded type receptacle. Okay, so that um, to let you know that we are in compliance with the NEC. You can check out this book on the description down below. I highly suggest that if you're working with any type of electrical that you have this book handy so you are in with compliance. Commonly on older homes, you can find most of these non-grounded type receptacles. So on this video, I'm gonna be showing you two scenarios on how we can change these out. Let's start with scenario number one, but first let's go and check out the NEC codebook. Utilizing the NEC codebook 2020 edition, if you, I already have it tabbed out. If you look at paragraph, let me zoom in there for you friends. If we look at paragraph 406.4, Delta, 2A, 2B, 2C, let's start with alpha first. A non-grounding type receptacle shall be permitted to be replaced with another non-grounding type receptacle, which means that you can change out the receptacle with the same type. If you go to B, a non-grounding type receptacle shall be permitted to be replaced with a ground fault circuit interrupter type of receptacle. So let's stop there. So that means that you can change this receptacle to a GFCI type receptacle. I have two receptacles right here. They're both GFCI and one is weather resistant, tamper resistant. One is just tamper resistant depending on what you need, but they are both GFCI okay so we're gonna go what's going on with this receptacle I got this receptacle tester this is by Sperry and since this is a two prong um, receptacle with no ground we're gonna have to use an adapter again all the tools that I use in this video I'll leave it on the description down below insert this and test out what's going on with this outlet you can see that the middle light is on if you look at the legend here open ground as if the middle light is open. So this receptacle here has no ground at all. Before touching this outlet, you want to test out for voltage. But make sure that before you use this voltage detector, you actually test this out to a, uh, a live wire. Because sometimes that if you test this out, sometimes you might have a fault. You want to double test yourself that this tool here is actually working. So in this case, there is no power. We are safe. Take out the cover. So again, this is just a mock-up. And if you look right here, this is actually cool. If you have a damaged drywall and this thing sinks further into the box and you have a sunken outlet, I actually made a video on that. I'll leave it in the description right here. But using this level plate, they're cheap. Again, this one's actually a cool product. I'll leave it in the description as well. But I highly suggest this tool right here. Make sure that you double check for voltage. There is no voltage here. You can see that this only has a hot and neutral. There is no ground. I'm gonna cut this off and make it into a straight piece. Now it's totally up to you how you wanna do this. You can save those, those shepherd hooks. I take out at least five eighths. If you don't have that much to work with with the wire, you might have to reuse whatever wire or shepherd hook that is left there from the other one. I'm gonna be using my GFCI right here. This one, we're gonna leave on because this is scenario number one. There's only one that we are replacing, okay? We're gonna get to scenario number two where there are other outlets that are gonna be feeding off this GFCI. But let's first get to this scenario first. Insert it through these holes, line area, and the left side is where you're going to put the hot. See that? The small side is always the hot area. The white wire, very straightforward, and it's the silver, and it's always the neutral area right there. So very easy to do. 
you're just gonna take the hot, the neutral wire. Let's go check out the neutral wire first, and let's feed it through this GFCI. Okay, we have that nice and tight, and now we're gonna feed the hot side on the brass. Put electrical tape and wrap this around the conductors. Wrap it around twice. Since my drywall cutup is bigger than the receptacle, it will sink. So I will gonna be, I am gonna be using this level plate again, so that we can have that nice and flush with the drywall. Now, if I would have used this white GFCI, it would have matched this white um, cover plate. But we ended up using this off-color beige looking, so it's okay. We can still use that right there. So just like that, but we are not done yet. Let's go back to the NEC code book paragraph 406.4 Delta 2B. Let's go back. A non-grounding type receptacle shall be permitted to be replaced with a GFCI. Done. We did that. These receptacles or their cover plates shall be marked no equipment ground. An equipment grounding conductor shall not be connected from the ground fault circuit or GFCI type receptacle to any outlet supplied from the ground fault circuit interrupter receptacle. So that means no ground, no ground can replace it. But then we have to put a no equipment ground sticker. When you buy these GFCIs inside the box, usually they have stickers provided like here. There's a bunch of them. So in this one, we're going to have to put no equipment ground sticker. If you don't have any of these stickers, I, I, I'll actually left a link down below where you can get these stickers as well if your GFCI doesn't come with these stickers. Just like that. That's pretty much scenario number one. Even though you put a three prong right here, it's still going to be a no ground receptacle. Okay, so that's that. Scenario number one's done. Let's get to scenario number two. So here's situation number two. Let's go open up this non-grounded receptacle. We found two connections right here. This one coming from the main power and this one going to another receptacle on the line with no ground and just the hot and the neutral. So this being just a mock-up, I just, you know, it's not evenly spaced. Okay, so don't, don't, get, don't get on me on that one. It's just for instructional purposes only. So let, let's just say that this is connected to this one. Now this is actually out of compliance because this is a three prong connected to here without any labels. Let's get back to that. Now let's go to this one first. What we need to do in this case is if you're gonna have, if you want to replace the every all of this with three prong, this and this with three prong, you are gonna have to replace this with another, like what we did on scenario number one. This has to be changed out to a GFCI. Before we tackle this one, let's go and tackle this one first. Let's go and disconnect all the wires here first. Make sure that you group them accordingly. Don't get the neutrals and the hots mixed up. Once again, we are separate. This one is coming from the main power. This one is going to the other receptacle. We are gonna be using our GFCI. Like here, we're gonna be, first we're gonna feed the power at the top part. Okay, so the brass is the hot, the silver is the neutral. We're gonna go to the neutral. We're gonna attach it to the silver. Now it doesn't matter which one, top or bottom, they're all both in the same connection. If we're gonna connect another line to here, we're gonna, we're gonna have to take this sticker off because we're gonna be using that other line. So we have all the hot, wires on the brass we have all the neutrals on the silver now that's done we are gonna be wrapping this with electrical tape about two times 
Since this hole is too big, I'm going to be putting this level plate. There you go, nice and flush. Just like scenario number one, since we replaced the, the non-ground receptacle with a GFCI, we have to put on the cover plate that label right there, no equipment ground. Okay, so now let's put this back on. There you go. So now we got the GFCI installed. We are now gonna move to here, which was the line that was connecting to this receptacle right here. Now let's go back to the NEC code book and let's see and read what the paragraph says. We're back to NEC code book, paragraph 406.4 Delta. Let's go now to Charlie. Since we did Bravo, that was already what we did here. We replaced this with the GFCI and let's go with Charlie. Let's see what it says. A non-grounding type receptacle shall be permitted to be replaced with a grounding type receptacle. So this is a grounding type receptacle, non-grounding type receptacle. So we can replace this with a grounding type receptacle. So, so far this is up to code, but we haven't opened it up yet. So we, ha we don't know what's going on. So it says right there, a non-grounding type receptacle shall be permitted to be replaced with a grounding type receptacle where supplied through a GFCI circuit interrupter. So now this is being supplied by this GFCI. So, so far we're good. This is actually, you always want to find the most upstream outlet. And then from there, that will be your GFCI first. And then from the rest of the outlet, depending if you have multiple outlets throughout the circuit as long as all those um uh, those receptacles are feeding into this one gfci then you are good that's what it's saying right there okay let's go back here it says um where grounding type receptacles are supplied through the gfci ground grounding type receptacles or their cover plates shall be marked gfci protected and no equipment ground visible after installation. An equipment grounding conductor shall not be connected between the grounding type receptacles, which means that we can't have any type of ground connecting to each one. So the rest of the circuit right there, going to each receptacle, no ground, just neutral and hot. All right, so let's open up this and see if we are in compliance. The only thing that we're gonna do now is to check this to see if there is a ground connected to it. If there's no ground connecting to here, then we are in compliance. So once you open this, make sure there is no power. Always use your voltage detector. All right, so it looks like we're in compliance. No ground, no ground on here. Sometimes what I see in other homes is they replace their non-grounding type receptacles with these grounding type receptacles and they add a ground on there, which is not in compliance. This is in compliance because you have a neutral or you have a hot on the brass, a neutral on the silver side, you're good. The only thing we're missing now is the label on the cover plate. So now let's go put this back on, we're good. We got this receptacle feeding from that GFCI. So again, if you have more receptacles on this circuit, they only have to have, to have the hot and the neutral, no ground. The only thing left that we need to do is we have to put GF GFCI protected outlet and we have to put no equipment ground. Okay, so if you're looking for these stickers, they should come with your GFCI out, uh, receptacle or I'll leave it in the description down below. GFCI protected, no equipment ground. On this one, it's already given, that's a GFCI. So we're just gonna put there, no equipment ground. And that should be in compliance. So once again, friends, I hope that you found this video helpful and now you know how to change out those non-grounded type receptacles to a grounded type receptacle using a GFCI and all the instructions are written in the NEC code 2020 revision right here. I highly suggest that you always look through this code book to be in compliance. This book 
and all the tools that I use in this video, I'll leave it in the description down below. If you found big value to this, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell. And if you have any questions in any way, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll be gladly to help you out, okay? So thank you so much. I hope that you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video.